Yeah, um, it, you know, it's not what you want on a consistent basis, but I knew we had a day off the day before, so it's a little bit easier to do. Um, so I felt that I could do it, and I, I went and did it. All right. Joe, obviously you don't you don't have a choice right now with the way the rotation is, but do you a little bit worried about sort of the innings uh, that guys like Batances and Warren are, are piling up right now? Well, we do our best to protect them. Um, I mean, if you remember, we didn't use them for three or four days, and they and they threw Batances threw about twenty three pitches, twenty four pitches, um, and a lot of it's pitches too. Um, and Warren threw about nine. So, you know, before today, in the last six days, they'd only thrown respectively 23 and six, nine pitches. So uh, I'm conscious of it. That's why I give people two days off sometimes, sometimes even three days off, and people wonder why. It's because I'm conscious of our bullpen and their health for the whole year, and not just this year, but next year and the following year, and it's only fair to the players. And if you want them to be successful, you have to sometimes, you know, give them a couple days, and I will do that. And I'm not afraid to do that. With Batanza specifically, I mean, since he hasn't done it really for a long time, I mean, do you have to be more careful? Well, he's been a starter. Right. So he's he's used to putting up innings, and he's used to being a multiple inning guy in um, the minor leagues. It's what he did a lot of when he was a reliever. What they didn't do, what he didn't do a lot was throw two days in a row. And if you notice, I haven't done that a lot to him. Who else? Up against the wall, Joe. Joe Soriano looked like he might not have been 100% running out that double, and then you lift, you put each row in right. With no, 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 he was fine. He was okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Barry? You know, you guys have scored 21 runs or something in the last three games here. I know the pitching was a little bit different, but both of the teams out at City Field. But is there anything to this atmospheric conditions of playing at the stadium as opposed to well, our team is, is our team is built for this park. I mean, when you when you put a team together, you you talk about the type of hitters you want. You build it around your park because you know you're guaranteed 81 games there. So I, I think that's why you see us, you know, probably going to score more runs at home than on the road. Right here in the front, Joe. Were you worried early with Phelps 50 pitches through two innings, especially with a doubleheader on tap tomorrow? Uh, well, I wasn't. Uh, thrilled with it <laughs> uh, but you know I felt that he could settle down and he did um, he got us through five innings um, you know I mean you, you take it a day at a time I, I think it would have been worse if I didn't know that we had yesterday off and we have Monday off I mean by having yesterday off and Monday off it protects you a little bit more on both sides of, of the double header and we can call another player up tomorrow if we want so uh, my thought is it'll probably be a pitcher um, so that will add to it, too. Dan. McCann bunted against the, uh, or tried to bunt against the shift again. Are you okay with that? He seems pretty uncomfortable with it. What do you mean he's uncomfortable with it? Well, he's not very good at it. No, he's had some hits with it. He, he hasn't, you haven't seen one with us yet. But you will see one, I promise you. So you, you think that's going to be part uh, of Hey, you know game. what? If, if they're going to give him that and you've got people who can hit the ball out of the ballpark behind you, and, uh, you know, a lot of times he's done it with no outs. I don't have a problem. Roger. Joe, it's hard to argue with five scoreless innings because the results are great. But, you know, for 100 pitches, do you want Phelps to be getting deeper into the game? Well, I think any manager would say that, you know, if you're going to go 100 pitches, I mean, your, your preference would be, be nine complete innings. Um, but, you know, that's not the way the game is a whole lot anymore and uh, you know it's only I think it's his third start um, so third or fourth start so I mean we're a little bit patient with him and we know that uh, that he'll continue to improve um, you know he threw what 80 pitches out in Anaheim and gave us six and a third so that was that was pretty good so it was just a day where he had a lot of pitches the first two innings and it cost him some distance so it, there isn't anything that can be done in terms of pitching approach to get more length? Well, I think it's, I, I, I think sometimes, I, I think a pitcher's approach, or a pitcher's approaches are usually good, but sometimes they're just not as proficient as maybe throwing the ball exactly where they want to um, all the time. So you're getting some long at bats, you're getting some long counts. Um, you look at Tabata, uh, the first, what did he follow off? Three or four, three, two pitches? Uh, I, I, yeah, so I mean, that, that kind of sets the stage where 
you, you threw the first hitter and there's nine pitches already. So, I mean, that sometimes is a little bit difficult, but um, I'm, I'm okay with Phelps' approach.